actually our goal was ultimately to, to grow hemp in Oregon. And if we can make that happen in five years, I think it'll be a major achievement for us, uh, mainly because there are a lot of hurdles that we need to, to cross. The shoe is uh, made completely in the US, but all the fabric which they get, all the hemp which they get, is not coming from the US because they're not legally allowed to grow there yet. So they get all their fabric from China, from Romania. And why can they not get it from India instead? Like, what, what are we waiting for? I really don't understand. I mean, we were one of the biggest suppliers and producers of hemp, and now we've just fallen back, and everyone's just overtaking us. So there's a huge market, and we are just kind of losing out on it. According to NDPS Act, it implemented in 1985, there it clearly states that there is a special powers given to the state government uh, to give permission to cultivate hemp for seed oil, fiber, and as a food source, and also the cultivation for a cannabis for a medical and research purposes. Sometimes I feel uh, this is the dominoes effect, that if one state would do it, the rest would follow it. The question every state is answering is, show us the process. And I think it is left to the scientific community to come together and show that process. And we are systematically going to talk on it, be legally right, ethically right, morally right and that way be scientifically right and help somebody. We want to reintroduce hemp into these farmers' lifestyles so they stay back in the farms. They have a cash crop, they have enough money to suffice, they have enough money to eat, they have enough money to lead a good lifestyle. So hemp is such a crop that can give them all this. And it's a guaranteed crop, it's drought prone. So we want to introduce this, stop farmer suicides, we want to uh, develop the country, we want to make hemp a self-sustainable crop, we want to move India towards a more self-sustainable future. We don't want to destroy it, we want to move along forward with nature. And that's possible only if we stop destroying nature in the name of development. You know, like make it a decentralized system, make it a self-sustainable, uh, hyper-localization model. For example, we don't want the food to be grown in Himalayas and shipped all the way to Karnataka or we don't want the hempcrete to be made in Tamil Nadu which is shipped to Gujarat. You know, like that's again a lot of energy waste. Uh, so that we are trying to cut down and that's the model that we are suggesting to the government is go hyper-localization. Once we are growing hemp in Oroville, then each of the different parts of the plant can be used by different units in Oroville to produce whatever products they are, they are already producing. All the infrastructure is already set up, all the machinery is already in place. Just to be able to produce the raw material and hand it to these units will be, will be incredibly good for us.